There has been a bit of a change happening over here at Simply Living It, and it is the perfect time, being that we are changing seasons as we enter fall. It is the perfect time for a little bit of a reset. And now on this particular day, I was up really early, actually unable to sleep with all kinds of words and thoughts and feelings going on in my head. And so I wanted to get up early and put them all on paper because if I don't, they just nag and gnaw at me and they just, they just need out. That is what I'm gonna share with you in today's video. We hear it all the time. Fall is my favorite, and I have to say I agree, but I also say that about every season, at the start of every season. We are fortunate enough to live in an area where we get plenty of all four seasons, each of which are beautiful in their own way. A new season, for me, I find it to be the perfect time to reset. I've been enjoying using this change in the season, spending some time reflecting on our life, our family, what's working and what's not, listening to my body and what it's telling me that it needs, rest, more time journaling, more time in the word, more time slowing down, more time saying no, or maybe more time saying yes. What matters to me? What's important to me in this season? As a stay-at-home homeschooling mom to three boys, we are currently finding ourselves in a season that we have never been in before, and I mean in life. I am homeschooling a ninth grader, a seventh grader, and my fourth grader, all boys. And what a sweet season this has been. I want to share with you a few things that I am clinging to on these crisp, cool autumn days. Seasonal changes bringing such a sense of awareness in everything around me. I can feel it and see it everywhere around me. From the cool, crisp mornings to the sun setting a little earlier each and every day. The days getting shorter and life seeming to transition. The very first thing I like to look at as we transition into a new season is my schedule. What needs to go? What is bringing me joy? What is weighing me down? What is adding to chaos? And what is bringing me peace? Too many yeses, too many noes, too many chaotic days. What is it for me? That's what I have to do as we begin this season of fall. Evaluate everything. Make one day out of the week our day to run and maybe giving us the rest of the days to be free. Whatever that looks like for each week as it ebbs and flows and changes, that's what we are welcoming. I feel the desire to slow down even more, to enjoy my mornings and evenings. Moving on from the fast-paced summer days of adventure and exploring to adding in as much as we can to every moment of every day. I feel such a call to draw more inward as we enter autumn. As the seasons change, I'm really working on listening to what my body needs, which hasn't always been or really ever been easy for me. I'm a push through kind of gal, but as we transition, I'm also transitioning and slowing my body down intentionally. Clearing the schedule for more time with my boys snuggled up with our library books on the couch reading whatever time allows the simple joys and the simple pleasures of an unhurried life that's what i'm seeking more time saying yes to the crafts yes to the things that maybe i was too busy for before the simple pleasures like a fresh five dollar bouquet of flowers that you buy for yourself when you get your groceries. Saying yes to activities and to art and to memories and to moments with my boys. Not a crazy rush schedule, but just peace. One thing I love is how much more time I spend in my kitchen. Cooking, being in my kitchen, I've tried new things in the last few weeks that I've never, ever tried before. New recipes, new hearty soups, and, and food that nourishes my family, and enjoying being in the kitchen again, allowing time to be in the kitchen exploring and making new things and creating new things for my family. 
that is something that brings me joy in this season right now. There are so many gifts that God gives us in each season, in each transition. And I want to slow down and actually enjoy these gifts and use these gifts and thank him for these gifts. I want to explore them with my children. I want to live outside of this box, outside of these walls, outside of this idea of what I thought living was and living meant and living looked like. This slowing down and embracing all of it, every single ounce of it, being home and enjoying being home. I am a woman who does enjoy being home. Those days that come where we don't have anywhere we necessarily have to go, I love those days. I can be home with my kids. I can sit on the couch and read books. I can be in the, co- in the kitchen making something totally new for our family and exploring in those ways that when we live busy, rushed, chaotic lives, we don't have time for. Listening to my body, what it's asking of me, what it's calling me to do, enjoying an afternoon workout when time allows, without being rushed and stressed and waking up at 6 a.m. to do so. This fall reset has been such a beautiful thing for my family, for me, loosening up our schedule, freeing up time and space to sit and enjoy a tent in the backyard with my boys and all the gifts that God has given us in this beautiful season of fall. This is where it's at, mamas, right here.